you, you want to make sure that you have a good balanced rotation of your meals. That's why a lot of preppers prep rice because you can do a million and one things with rice. You really can. You know, instant uh, mashed potatoes. That's another one. You have to know how to store these products. All right. Beans. Beans is another big one. You know, rice and beans goes a long way. And then you can filter in your canned meats, canned vegetables, whatever else. Maybe it's freeze dried stuff. Whatever you can do, whatever you can afford, that's what you have to start doing. And that's what you have to start doing right now, right this minute. You need to start making a plan, making a list, start hitting the stores. Because literally, folks, it is like Christmas time inside these stores. Yes, there are some shelves and stuff that are short. And there's some things that are short. But nothing like what it was. Far from it. You have the opportunity. You have the opportunity right now to do whatever you can to make things better for you and your family, to really push your preparedness to a whole nother level. And don't worry about what the Joneses down the street are going to say or anything else. And you don't broadcast it. If I do a big prepping haul, whatever, I back my car right in the garage. It ain't nobody's damn business of what I'm doing and what I'm unloading. You know what I'm saying? The last thing you want to do is start broadcasting what you got to anybody, you know, unless it's family. Maybe if it's a close friend or something like that. Okay. But rather than that, if it's Joe Smo at work, he doesn't need to know. You get what I'm saying? If it's your kids, if it's your your parents. That's a different story because sometimes you're going to have people in your family that guess what? They think you're nuts, right? I've had, I don't know how many people ask me through email, through chats, through comments and everything else. How do we get around trying to get and convince people to start prepping? And the bottom answer is folks, it's very difficult. Because that's one of those situations where they're going to have to learn the hard way. But I also do say that you want to make sure that you do have extra preps, especially if it is your family or something. Because if they come knocking on your door, it'll be very difficult for you to turn away anybody in your family. Especially if it's your kids, sister, brother, parents, whoever it may be. It'd be very difficult for you to turn them away knowing that they're probably going to starve to death or die out there trying to survive. Am I not right? So you always want to make sure that you are putting away for those people that do not believe that they should be prepared for anything, that do believe that the government will be there to help them out in any situation. That also do believe that, you know, none of this stuff will ever happen here in America. But this is America now. You see, for a lot of people, they're still in shell shock. It hasn't set in yet. It hasn't reached in deep inside them yet to say, something's wrong. What is going on? These people must be like, you know, when is it going to hit? And unfortunately for a lot of these people, when they hit that wall, folks, it's probably not going to be very pretty for them. It's going to be a very tough situation for them to deal with on the fact that their lives are going to change and that that moment in time, they're going to realize it. And at that moment in time, every time that they probably called you crazy, you know, um, stupid, whatever they want to call you, they're going to realize that you knew exactly what was going on. And 
you saw the writing on the wall. Now, whether you watched it and you listened to me, you listened to anybody else, however you figured it out. Now, a lot of people, especially in this community, a lot of people have been prepping for a very long time. A lot of people were raised that way. Like I've talked about before, I can remember my grandmother. Now, they had 12 kids. All right. This is going way back when my mom, that's 80 some odd years old, was a little kid. And everything they did, if they weren't in school, they're working out in the, in the field. Because grandma canned everything. The basement was nothing but canning jars. 